Okay, it looks like we've got this going. So here's our web server. Refreshing that page. I, I do have a bug that I found and uh, I just put a delay in the web server to fix it. I'm not checking to make sure the buffer is empty before uh, I send before I send out a image that's larger one size of the buffer. Uh, any image over you know, 1K is basically going to cause it to choke. But uh, yeah, I can just sit here and hit F5 over and over and over again. And there's no discernible artifacts or anything keeping the uh, display. It doesn't stutter. It doesn't even know it's there. And uh, the... Uh, The chip here that we're using, the uh, WizNet W6100, the way I'm getting an exclusive lock on it is by using locks inside of the P2. It's one cog that's running the display and another cog that's running the web server. Here's my screen where I can see my web server request coming in. And it all appears to be fluid. Um, no problems at all. So eventually I'm going to have this configured so that you go to the web page and that is how you configure the uh, uh, the light controller just via web page. No need to mess with code or anything like that. Just sitting there hitting refresh over and over and over again. No problem. Press and hold down 5, F5. And that does cause it to choke for a moment. Uh, <laughs> but um, that has to do with the delay that I put in there. So I'm going to back that out and fix it. Um, but if you wait for a minute uh, for the uh, uh, chip to reset after hammering it really hard, it comes right back up. It's not as if you have to uh, take any action. You just have to sit there and be patient. And uh, after about a minute or so, it becomes available again. But yeah, I'm super happy with this. Uh, I didn't think the locks would work that well. Uh, I thought there would have been all kinds of problems getting that implemented. Uh, but nope, none at all. No, no problems at all. And it's just sitting there working, and there's no stutter no artifacts nothing on that display so yay it works